Okay, hi, this is Michael Ellis again, and um, so we've um, been working on our uh, uh, white stone process, and as you can see, um, we've got uh, some substance down here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but actually there's a white substance on top of our sugar that we've put in to feed our yeast, and... Um, it's got nice carbonation, so that means that uh, we have a alcoholic substance. It's kind of yellowish. That's from the nails kind of rusting off in there. So in order to get to our um, white stone, as you can see here, uh, that white layer on top with the kind of orangish um, vinegar. I made this from straight vinegar, uh, distilled vinegar, so it doesn't have the mother in it. Um, but uh, but this is alcohol, so um, we're going to turn that into vinegar with the mother. Uh, so we're going to go from alcohol to vinegar, and um, that'll work even better than our uh, straight vinegar, distilled vinegar uh, substance. Uh, so uh, we will pop the top on that bottle, which should be pressurized. So expect a little minor explosion. Oh, that's hard to get off. <laughs> oh wow, that, that might actually blow off. So I'm sure this is kind of dangerous to do. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it didn't have too much pressure. How's the smell? It kind of smells like chlorine, actually. That's kind of weird. Anyways, okay. Um. That's probably the chlorine gas that separated from the liquid. So we are now in the process. It doesn't smell alcoholic even. So we are now in the process of making. Uh, yeah, there's my sculpture from my ceramics class. Um, so we're now in the process of making a vinegar solution. So our alcohol in here. Sorry, alcohol substance in there should um, start moving in the direction of uh, turning into a sour vinegar. So that's all we had to do for this step. And I will see you in a couple of days. Um, and we'll have some more progress on that. And we'll see what happens. So um, I will sign out for now. Thank you for watching. This is Michael Ellis.